Ok, first we must make a quick sketch with lines to guide us and, and to give us the help to maintain the proportions of our ship. In this part of the drawing, we must not press too much our pencil on the paper to not let marks, because many of these lines will be erased after uh, we achieve our the result we want. Okay, some lines here. Okay. I really love uh, to draw ships. I've made many paintings and drawing some ships, and I see that in my channel I, I never upload any video of this uh, theme. So I made this quick uh, video of drawing a ship, and if you like, I'll make more, more of she and ships, anything you like. Use the comment lines to tell me what you like I paint or draw, ok? Ok... For this part of the drawing I'm using a regular HB pencil or number 2 in other countries. This is the perfect pencil to make sketches, quick sketches. Ok, take your time to, uh, to achieve, to reach the results and the drawing that you wish it will be. Ok, this is, I suggest the sea, rounding, surrounding the ship, but I will not uh, draw uh, exactly the waves, but the negative space, ok? Now this is time, I think, to begin uh, to clean our drawing. The best practice you uh, can achieve is always maintain your drawings clean of uh, excess of lines. When something it is not more useful in your drawing, erase it uh, in the at, at the time, cause these lines will make you make mistakes in your drawing. Ok, now we have the sketch. I'll use now a 2V pencil. This is more soft and more dark to make more uh, definite lines in this drawing. And with the help of the other pencil, I'll make these lines. Ok, you may use a rule if you wish, but in this, in this case, with a pencil, is enough. Ok. I, many times, I thought about the, the courage the, the sailors have at the time of when the ships were without any engine, only with the power of wind, crossing all the world. They were very brave, I think. This, they spent many months at the sea without seeing their friends or family. I don't even know how they uh, resist all these things. Ok... Many of the shadows I am doing with this pencil, I'll perfect after this with the 2H pencil you will see 
in in very few mi minutes. Okay. Don't make all the lines uh, with the help of a rule or the pencil, but make some uh, some lines organic and some with help. And with this, you give more interest in your drawing. Okay. I think in this scene, there was a very strong wind pushing the ship forward. Okay, many lanes for this. As you know, I, uh, I have another uh, channel, a principal channel, a main channel in Spanish. I'm, I'm Spaniard, my name is Jose Manuel Gallego, and my other channel is Arte Vivo y Divertido. If you wish more explained or more narrated uh, videos, up here I leave you the link, but sorry, they are in Spanish. Now we do have other the drawing. Now we must begin. We must begin to make shadows, don't you think? This is a needed eraser, the perfect eraser to clean small areas because it uh, may be uh, modeled. Uh, I don't know needed to a point, and you may clean your drawings very easily. Okay. It's something like an sticky mass. Okay, drawing is clean now. Even I could, I think, even I could leave this drawing in, in, in this way. It is, it is beautiful right now. Don't you think? But. I'm going to make some shadows to give it a, a sense of reality, a three-dimensionality. Now I begin in the, like, like this. This is the same to be drawing. Okay. Don't press too hard in this uh, part either. Okay. It is mo most uh, useful, your pencil, if you sharp it to a point. Okay. So the lead is more uh, useful. <laughs> okay. What do you prefer um, that I upload? More drawing uh, videos, more painting videos, more ac on acrylics or on watercolors, even soft, pat soft pastels. What technique do you prefer that I upload? May you tell me that at the comment lines? I'll appreciate your help because I don't uh, really know what do you really want I upload, upload or when, what do you really be useful to you? What you really need? I'm, I was and I've been a teacher of drawing and painting all my life. Not only an artist. I love teach art, but I think I don't, uh, as I don't see you, I don't know you in person, I don't even meet you. I don't know what do you really want to learn when you look my, uh, you watch my videos. And I really, really uh, thank you if you tell me what do you, what technique or what 
videos do you really uh, like that I upload in the future so I can make practical classes for you that you can be that can be more useful for you as you see I'm not uh, talking a lot about the drawing because it is recorded in real time and I think it is easy to see what steps I have taken all the time okay to be is a very 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 uh, useful uh, pencil you need this okay step by step I am giving it the shadows and the lights always make the shadows uh, coherent uh, what the, what I want to mean if light comes in this case up uh, to the left then shadows must be all at the opposite side be uh, careful with this because if you put uh, your shadows uh, any at any other side your drawing may lost the sense of reality okay as you see the the sails the behind the behind the of the front must be darker this is an 8 V pencil, a very soft and dark pencil. I use uh, it uh, not many times, but in this case I want to give more uh, details. But first I'll use this 2H pencil. Pressing uh, softly over the, the graph graphite, I make the shadows more dark, darker. Okay. Be careful with a 2 H uh, pencil because its, it's point, its lead is very hard and if you press too much over the paper you may damage your paper, you may, you may even broke it. Break it, sorry. <laughs> Okay. When I draw over the 2B graphite that I add is in the on the edge paper, the 2H pencil extends the graphite and make it more make it more dark, darker. It makes it darker. And it is perfect to perfectionate the edges of your objects in your drawing or the shapes. Okay, something like this, more detail here, we are now given details. As I have said many times to you in my all my tutorials, tutorials uh, never begin a drawing with the details. Details comes now when all the shapes are perfect, when all the my, the great shadows are given. Now it's time to begin with details. And this is the H eight V pencil that I said before. And I use it only to give some details, to give a contrast and interest in my drawing. If I draw all the shadows with this pencil, the other, it will not, uh, how I say it, uh, it will not be so bright as, that, as I know. I only use it to, with, to draw the roads, some shadows. Use as many pencils as you can. 
you may afford many pencils from 4H to uh, 9B, it is better to use them in your drawing, because as with many uh, gray scales, because graphite is gray, with many gray scales, you give more interest in your drawing. Usually, I use uh, three uh, pencils, 2H, HB, and 2B, and then for details, I use a 6B or a H8B in my drawings. But you may use all the pencils that you wish. Okay, so that's here. Okay. Some lines must be made freely and others with the help of a rule to give the drawing a more, uh, a more uh, organic feeling. Okay, organic feel, organic feel, no organic feeling, sorry. Even if you don't believe it, <laughs> I'm trying to practice my English, but I think I'm not improving, really I'm not improving it. Now I'll draw, the, as I said before, the negative space of the sea. I will not draw the waves, but the dark places that surround the foam in the, in the water. So in just a moment, the ship is not over on the air anymore. It is now over a foam, over a wave and very, very uh, energetic sea. Okay, more shadows here to give contrast. Contrast give and gives your drawing life. So put the darker tones near, very near to the whiter or the uh, tones. This is a brass a hard brass that I used to uh, disseminate in this time to blur my dragon. After that, you must clean with the eraser and recover the whites that you have lost. In this way. Anytime you blur a, a drawing, be very careful. It can ruin your drawing very quickly. So be very careful with this. This is again the 2H pencil to give some edges here and here and some details. Of course, if you are new in my channel, if this is the first time you see one of my videos and haven't done yet, subscribe and so you will be uh, report each time I upload a new video. Okay. I think I only need a few more details and my drawing will be finished. You must choose in your drawings when is the perfect moment to stop, to no, not overwork it, okay? Some details here. I make it quick, quick to not bore you. Very, very quick. Okay. Some here, here. I know, I know my videos uh, are always longer than the average uh, video on YouTube, but I think, uh, I think that if you really need to see how it is drawing, how it is draw, if I make it very quick or I accelerate the camera, you can't uh, see anything, uh, all the process. So I don't know if you like it, but um, 
if you don't know, don't like it, you may tell me. But I think this is best to teach you how to draw. If you see the full process. Of course, I, I have videos accelerated too in my channel. But in this time, I thought it was better to draw it in real time. Just this part, these few seconds, I make it. I accelerate a little the image in this this moment. Okay. Well, friends, this is finished. What do you think? Do you do you like this drawing? Do you dare to draw it? 